Hey everyone, so today I want to give you our thoughts on the Skylight 2.0. As you'll notice, there are three buttons. So there is a power button, there is a sort of a timer button, and then there's a brightness button. So we actually bought this for our son's room and we liked it so much that we bought another one for our living room. So as you can see, showing you in the ceiling, this ceiling is very large that we have and it covers the entire ceiling, uh, which we love that. So it's great for like during movies, it's just enough light where, to where it's not pitch black in the room. You got just enough light to see while you're watching the movie. Uh, but there are the different modes that you can uh, choose from. So when you push the power button, it will change and oscillate in between different color schemes. And you can go just the stars. You can go with just the, uh, the light, the colors of light. You can also change to more of a blue and green as opposed to all the colors. So there's lots of different modes to choose from, which makes it fun because we like to take turns in picking which color um, people like to go with. And then as you keep pushing the power button, it does slowly then fade to off. That's the one thing that I don't like about it is that when you want to turn it off, you have to like oscillate between all the settings, uh, which is the one thing, but it's not that big of a deal. And then there's three different sort of color. It's hard to tell here, but you can tell it's getting a little bit lighter and now it's brighter again. So there's three levels of brightness. Um, to it but overall we have really enjoyed having it in our home and it's just a fun little sort of thing to have as on your ceiling it also works great as a backdrop if you have for photos or for video it makes a really cool backdrop um, but overall and it's not very big which we also like and it's been a really fun thing to have in our house